Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It's Sunday, April the 7th. College basketball's almost in the rear view mirror. Just one more game to go, but it's Sunday. So what are we going to talk about? Well, it's Sunday. Let's talk a little football, shall we? Hey, before we do that, take a minute, smash that like button. Give us the thumbs up. We appreciate the effort on your part, as always. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you should do that. And then when you do, you should ring the bell. And then you'll get notified every time brand new video com, com, uh, content, there's that word, uh, comes up on your timeline. So make sure you check that out as well. Speaking of checking it out, if you're looking for deep dives, predictions, and previews every game every single day, make sure you check out winnersandwinners.com. It is the number one site in the world for predictive sports analysis. Make sure you avail yourself of the resources. And while you're there, make sure you check out the premium picks. Find out who's hot. Who's not? And ride yourself with the hottest capper. All right. So um, let's talk um, a little football, shall we? Uh, full disclosures, I record this video. It is early in uh, in the day, relatively speaking. It's it's early Saturday afternoon. And uh, I just want to make sure that I'm able to watch the game tonight. i got a couple family things to do. So we're knocking out the video a little early, if you will. But that doesn't stop me from having opinions. No, it does not. Um, and here's the one that I want to talk about. It's the Houston Roughnecks DC Defenders game going tomorrow. I'm going to surprisingly play, and this is not reinventing the wheel as far as this league goes. I'm playing the under here, guys. I've got it at 40 now. It opened at 41 and a half. I'm good down to 38 and a half, 39. So, uh, yeah, sooner rather than later if you're going to jump on this one. As I mentioned, the Unders went 4-0 and last weekend in the premier uh, opening weekend of the UFL. In the game today, it is just after halftime, and that one between Memphis and, San and, uh, and uh, Arlington looks like it is going to go well under the total as well. So we're most likely looking at a 5-0 and situation as far as the Unders. But this is a roughnecks defense that has been very good in their opening uh, frame. They held the Memphis Showboats to 1.7 yards per rush and 4.9 yards per pass. And just for uh, just for uh, a comparison, uh, today Memphis has rushed the ball for 4.4 yards uh, per attempt and uh, 61 yards on uh, 13 attempts for passing. So still don't have their passing game anywhere near squared away, but uh, they do have a decent running game. So. Uh, that says good things about this Roughnecks rushing defense, at the very least. Uh, defenders, well, you know from their name, they probably got a good defense, and they actually do. Uh, they got upset in week one, and uh, it was mainly because their offense was dreadful. They averaged just 4.5 yards per attempt, and they've still got some turmoil uh, at the skill positions. They don't have their top rusher from last year, and uh, Jordan Tamu is missing his uh, top two targets as well. So uh, they've got some growth to do on the offensive side of the ball. Um, no other player other than the quarterback uh, recorded more than uh, 15 yards on the ground. It's 43 yards rushing total. So that's uh, yeah, not, not good at all. D.C. Uh, gave up some points, but a lot of them. Uh, we're uh, on the trick play. They completed the ball on the fake punt from the punter to the center who was eligible. So, uh, yeah, that's, I think, I think, here's my theory on this. I think that uh, all things being considered, you play fairly vanilla strategies at this point. I don't know that they've had enough time to install a lot of the tricks on the defensive or offensive side. So if you're, let's say you're within 20, 25% of baseline vanilla offense defense, I think in that situation, the defense is going to have the advantage uh, in, in most cases. I think it's a lot like early in the season of baseball. You see pitchers have the advantage over hitters, uh, and that's I think that's the case early in uh, in football season. Remember, these guys have had no preseason, um, no 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 off no off season training or very little training camp, no preseason games. So they're getting a lot of things worked out. I think vanilla versus vanilla is always going to favor the defense. I would say keep playing unders in this league till further notice, but we're definitely playing this one. Give me the Houston Roughnecks and DC Defenders under 40. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, you guys, 
Have a fantastic Sunday. If you happen to see this Saturday night, we posted early. Good luck on those games as well. And we'll be back tomorrow. Hmm, maybe, maybe talk a little national championship game. We'll see. Uh, could be some cricket in there as well. I don't know. So, hey, have fun. We'll see you then. Bye.